You can get food and drinks at the Rooftop Bar atop the Standard Hotel in downtown Los Angeles. You can also get a bathing suit or sunscreen from a vending machine. The machine is one of thousands of automated retail options popping up across the nation as retailers sell things without having to hire people to help them do so. This automation is one reason some economists worry that jobs won't return quickly from the recession. People may be buying things again, but many of them prefer to buy them from machines rather than from other humans. The vending machine at the Standard is made by AVT Technologies, a 10-year-old Corona company. Think of it as a pimp my ride for vending machines. What I'm showing you here is the new line of automated retail machines that AVT is releasing for 2011. Um, all of these machines that we're seeing here are uh, powered by our technology, our VIN management system, um, completely interactive. Um. The guys at AVT have figured out how to make vending machines for just about everything you can think of. This, uh, dispenses PlayStation 3 games, Guitar Hero, DJ Hero. These machines uh, basically just been healthy product tampons and, and uh, some personal men products and razors and things like that. Not enough English toffee, French vanilla tea. iPods, uh, iPhones, uh, Bluetooth, um, uh, electronic devices, some games as well. Uh, kind of your, your middle of the road popcorn machine just kind of jazzed up a bit. Toiletry products, um, some books, um, food. Did we mention gold, silver, and prescription drugs? And soon, the machines may even replace gas stations. This is an unmanned environment, obviously. You can see you just basically walk up to the kiosk, swipe your credit card. AVT started by making machines that dispense pizza, chicken sticks, and grilled cheese. It's not easy to sell pizza from a machine. Thanks to heating problems, most of those machines are retired. But founder Shannon Illingworth said part of the company's appeal is that it can make machines for anyone who wants them. The company has so much work right now um, for, you know, from companies, I mean, you know, the, the Quicksilvers and the AT&Ts and, uh, and the Apples and uh, Ironclads and all of these organizations that want automated retail environments for their product because of what we can do for them. You know, some people don't like dealing with sales with sales guys too much and, and not saying that this is what this this environment is going to take away from or we're taking away from from that but just um, it's just giving someone the option or a retailer option to automate their product also we as consumers mostly you know we want things when we want them how we want them and we want it now um, you know walk in get it leave that's it you know credit card boom receipt in hand we're gone AVT hopes to ride that consumer impatience and the automation craze all the way to the bank. A year from now, you know, AVT could be a 30 to 40 million dollar a year company. Very easy. You know, who would have thought, um, you know, five years ago that Blockbuster would be out of business? I mean, it's, it's sort of that evolutionary process of what's next.